Welcome to the Digital Tourism Show, episode 268. And in this five minute workshop, I am focusing on the sales process for inquiry based products. Now, this has been a question that has come up a lot lately, not just from our own customers, but from others in the tourism industry and business owners looking for this sort of advice online. Although some of you reading this may not believe so, the amount of potential revenue I have seen flush down the drain is frightening. So many potential customers are either not being contacted at all, or they only receive one form of communication and then they are forgotten about. The excuse I hear a lot is, I did not have time to contact everyone who inquires. So first, let me apologise in advance if what I'm about to say does seem blunt, but it's absolutely essential to convert the leads generated from marketing, especially during the pandemic. Having no time is something I can sympathise with, especially during a chaotic time. I'm a business owner myself, so I understand how busy things can be, but it seems counterintuitive to throw away potential revenue that your business could make. Look, I'm sure we've all been there at some stage, but take a closer look at what you'd really do on a daily basis. Really look hard at what you do. Could you spend, say, one hour less watching your favourite show on Netflix if it meant you could close a few extra bookings? You probably could. Human beings are fantastic at procrastinating. If you took some simple steps to rearrange your daily routine, your business could perform better in many areas. For example, in my own business, I have set up automated tools to take care of the initial stages of the sales process. I also divide my day into chunks. I look at my email between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. and then later again between 4 p.m. and 5 p.m. I spend a few hours helping my team with our own customers and then the last few hours on building my own business, creating strategies, looking at new opportunities, as well as writing my thoughts about the industry, including this very guide that you're listening to now. The day-to-day -day is delegated to my team. Now, I may be preaching to the converted here, but it really does help when trying to stay on top of sales leads to schedule a section of your structured activity each day, focusing on those leads generated. Dedicating even just one hour on sales per day can make all the difference. With this episode, my hope is that I can show you how to interact with your potential customers in an automated way, with just a few in-person touch points along the way. Not only that, I have provided a basic process guide and email templates that you can use today. Now, over the next five days and following my guide, I would like you to go through your sales process and see how you can make improvements. On day one, check your inquiry forms on your website are set up correctly and they actually ask the right questions, but not too many questions. On day two, set up the automated emails on your preferred email platform of choice. On day three, if you wish to try Facebook form ads, set these up targeting the right audience. My book, Lookers Into Bookers, which you can download for free in a link provided below, gives you advice on how to set up Facebook ads. On day four, using a bit of software called Zapier, Connect your website forms and Facebook forms to your email platform and test that it all works. Guides on how to set up Zapier and other platforms are widely available online or indeed in my book, which again has some step-by-step -step guides. On day five, launch and test the automated sales process and be ready to interact with your potential customer at key stages. Now, what I am providing is a basic process and many of you may have more complicated systems, but I hope at least it helps you to inspire you to have a good look at your sales process and make it more efficient. I would never go for a fully automated process as you do need that in human interaction. But what I propose in this guide will help make your process easier with a little bit of upfront work. Again, I want to know how you get on. So please do go to my Digital Tourism Show Facebook page, find this episode's post, and post your comments, advice, queries, answers, questions that you may have in that post. Look forward to hearing from you.